Ephesians 5 was drowning sex. Sex started with Adam. The only visible love is drowning sex. And then doing the same thing down to the left. Well, that was not so bad. And even I did it recently. There's some connections to that point. So they sort of smooth it out. And don't worry too much about what it is you're doing. This is the top of our total to spec. We're going to draw some lines. Now, unlike Twitter, Twitter accounts are landmarked and have thick, stocky legs, kind of similar to ours. Let's draw one. What I suggest to you is make an upside-down V, a fairly good-sized V, right about here. Next, take this line and continue it down the bottom. What we've done here is made a meet. And by continuing down here and connecting this line, we've made the back of the letter. To give it more definition, what we can do is we can take this line here and neatly make a right angle coming off of it, like this, but with a curved finishing line in it. This is the letter. This would be a right angle in our world. But what we're going to do is make a curve. In fact, let's make that letter, and I'll show you what I mean. That's why adding that letter in it and that curve, we wound up making the back of the letter. Isn't that realistic? We're going to do it again over here. Do it upside down again. Right back to the same spot we made it. Align the complement of that letter. Ready? Kind of a 90 degree angle there. Somewhat of a line. And a couple of curled lines on either side of it. Right here, got a couple of legs. And you'll see those pretty easily before I film one. All right, from what I know, I'm sure I'll look at a picture of a tortoise after this and realize I'm glad I haven't done it. But I do know that this is a kind of a line shape of letter. Rather than a turtle that has webbed feet with big claws on its toes, this thing in the water. Next, let's give this guy a little bit. One curved line and zip at the base of the curve like this. And then another one meeting it at the top like that, starting a little bit below. We can connect this area right here with a curve, a little reverse C. And he'll meet ahead. So let's start over here at the front here of the shell. And we want to make a kind of an S shape right here. But stop. Don't go too far. I want there to be a little circle right there at the end of that S. Then on the other side of the shell, as if continuing from that line, make a big reverse C like that. Connect this line to continue the neck of the torso. So this line kind of follows that line. And we can end it the same way we ended the tail. With a C going in the direction of the letter. Now for the bottom of the shell. In case you have a head with horn or dragon on one side, we pretty much know where the head is going to be. So 
start here. We're going to just a little bit and close under the leg like that. Then imagine what it would do on the other side. We're swinging it a little further so it gets to the back of that leg. And then over here, bring it back up and use the turtle of Mokka. Well, it has the effect. You can make curved lights on your body. Actually, the texture of a goldfish body. And why not? We can also put the wrist line in, give it a bit of a stab, to show that it's coming over the body. What you're going to want to do is just make a tiny swivel with your marker or pencil, whatever underneath the shell going across like that and just sort of fill in any gaps in there and give a, a bit of a shadow, a bit of an uneven shadow right there on the shell. Now you can make any kind of pattern you really want on the corner of the shell if you want to be creative. I think tortoiseshell coffee looks like this with kind of a soccer ball kind of a thing going on. I live in New York City and my story to the tortoise is pretty extreme. I think they have some over in Brazil. I see turtles a lot over in Chinatown. Some people buy them as pets. Same thing for squirrels. I basically do very quick making geometric shapes with the rest of the gun. Because I don't really know what a tortoise's shell is for. If you want to do this more accurately, I would suggest, you know, working with a conservatory. You can use some shading techniques to kind of dress this out a little bit. So that the pattern seems to be reflecting the face of the shell. Is that the right term? I don't know. If you do, put it in the comments and let us know. There you are. A little bit more shadow right here. See, it's starting to look like a shell now. Now, tortoises can live for over 100 years. And the oldest living tortoise is 182 years old. And his name is Jonathan. Next, what we're going to want to do is finish the eye bone. Why not? Let's give him a little eyelid. Just a little line that goes across the top of the eye. And then a little curve in there. <laughs> there you go. Then we can make a little curve behind this line and just kind of imply a mouth. You can bring the line in a little bit more if you want. And you can put some shading on the tail. Great. that it's underneath the tail, the tortoise, excuse me. You know what we do this to confuse the shell? I believe we come to a conclusion. It's a tortoise. I think he lives on the ground. You can use that glass texture to get more close to the gate to kind of run this pattern right past the bottom of his feet. Maybe you even give him a little flower crown. Try to match his little snout 